So let's look at f of x equals 1 half raised to the x plus 4 plus 1. Please make sure that when you write things, you are writing them in the right spot. You can clearly see this is an exponent, and this is on that same normal line as the rest of everything else. Okay. Now, since this is a one-half shape here, uh, this is one-half for the base, that means my exponential is not going to be increasing, but it's going to be doing what? Decreasing. It's going to be decreasing, because this base tells you that as you move out to the right, you keep multiplying times one-half every time. What if every day you came to class, I kept multiplying your grade times a half? Oh, I guess maybe that's what I should do. Every absence is equal to a factor of one half on your grade. Well, that would mean that every presence is a factor of two times. Then. Not necessarily. <laughs> so, well, I, I, I have, it'd be piecewise defined. Oh. That's <laughs> well, what have I done with this guy? No idea. I've got a plus four up here, so that means I'm going to go to the left four, and then what? Up one. So left four and up one. Well, since I'm going up one, I know that I have a horizontal asymptote right here. But where, what is the coordinate of your new origin, so to speak? Negative 4, 1. So from here, I know that my base point is what? Zero from this guy. Right. It's up 1 right here, 0, 1, right? Look at your base. Your base is 1 half, which means as I go out to the right, I'm going to be getting what? Smaller. smaller and smaller. So if I go out one step here, I get half of my distance from the horizontal asymptote that I had to, to the base point. If I go out another half or another step, I get 1 fourth and one eighth and so on. But if I go out to the left, what happens? Multiply times two. So from one half to one is times two. Times two is two. Times two is four. And times two is eight. So now we just connect the dots. The question is about how. You keep saying it's the same, but it's not. No, it's the same process. I may be, cha I may be changing the base. You're saying the same thing over and over again, and I'm not understanding the first, third, or fifth, so it's okay. I'll deal with you at break, whatever. See, so if this guy had been like a 10, it, yeah. every step to the right would multiply times 10. And it's, we always start right here. We've got the 0, 1, because that's the easiest guy to, to grab onto, 0, 1. And so if I went one step to the right, it would be from this horizontal asymptote up 10 units and then up 100 and so on. Since it's 1 half, as I go to the right, it's up a half. Multiply that times a half is a fourth and so on. itself. No, but if you go out, if you go over one unit, multiply it by a half. If you go over two units, multiply it by a half. No, what I think, I think, multiply it by a half. we start right here. The basic guy right here is one. That's a one. This is what I'm multiplying times one half. That's a so zero one. Zero. So from the origin, you've done a zero one for that point. Because that's yeah. the zero only on that one, which is x to no power, right? Is that where we are? Yeah, x to zero. X to zero. Uh, one half to the zero x is, is one. X to the zero power. Right. Whatever you put in for x to the zero power is going to be equal to one. Except for zero itself. <laughs> but yeah, but as you go to the right, you're multiplying this one times a half, times a half, times a half. And, and you know, look, look at this. If, if I start here with one, if I multiply this times two, times 2 
times 2 and so on, right? We go backwards the other way. This is what we call um, a like a, this is a geometric series. I keep multiplying times 2 every way this way. If I had to go backwards, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 sixteenth, and so on. It's geometric because every step along the way is the same factor. When we talk about factors, we're talking about multiplication times a number. Every step along the way is times 2, times 2, times 2, and so on. And you know what? And if it's one, since this base was 1 half, all of these numbers kind of get flipped around that guy. It's still going to be the same numbers which will represent the distance between the graph and that horizontal asymptote. 